All right, guys. So in the previous videos, you had seen what is a directed graph. How can you work using network X packages uh, in Python, and how can you deal with directed graphs in network X? Also, we had seen what is points distribution method. What is the procedure in which you play, and how would you distribute the points? How would you share your points with your neighbors? Also, we had seen a simulation in Excel spreadsheet that if you keep repeating for multiple iterations, the values converge. That is, the difference between this iteration and the previous iteration is either insignificant or there is no difference at all. So the difference is highly negligible. In that case, we say the values converge. So uh, we'll now see. Uh, Simulation using Python. So we'll get started. The first step, what you have to do is, you need to create a directed graph. Okay. So let's do that. So how would you create a directed graph? For that, we need network X package. So let us import that first. Import network x as mx so we have imported it so let us now go ahead with creating the directed graph so how would we do that g is the graph object is equal to nx dot digraph digraph this is how you create a directed graph so we have created it this is an empty directed graph so the next step is you should add the nodes so let us do it g dot add nodes from yes so we'll have to pass the list so let us say we need some 10 nodes we had taken a very small example of three node graph in our demonstration now let us take a slightly bigger graph 10 node graph maybe you can simulate with 100 node 1000 node graph you can uh, just keep extending the same thing to larger number of nodes with a, a complex graph. You can keep doing that. So let me now give a demo with a 10 node graph. So I'm going to insert 10 nodes from 0, 1, 2, 3 up till 9. So using a for loop, uh, a single line way, we, as we have seen in the prerequisites portion of this lecture series, we'll be doing that. So it is nothing but, it's just say i for i in range how many number of nodes you wanted you just need to give i'm going to do it with a 10 node graph so let me do it 10 so the 10 nodes from 0 till 9 had been added to the graph so the nodes are created so now we need to add some edges so let me say add edges so i need to add edges and get back a new graph with edges that is Currently, we just have nodes and no edges. So, I need to add edges and get that new structure as my graph G. So, let me say G will be my new graph. I'll have to add edges. So that's what I have to do. I have created a graph object. I have added the nodes. Now, I have to add the edges. So, undefined name add edges it says. So, that means I have used this name but I have to define what this actually is. So, let me go ahead and do that. Let me say define add edges okay so first to add edges what do you need nodes between two nodes there will be an edge right so we need to get the list of nodes we need to access the nodes frequently so we'll take the list of nodes so let me say nodes is equal to list of g dot nodes so we got the list of nodes so now I need to pick a source node. Let me say S for source for S from nodes. And I need to pick a target node. Let me say T for target from nodes list. I have picked it. Also, I should see the source and target must be two different nodes. If it is the same node, it will be a self loop. It's like telling I like myself. <laughs> Everyone likes themselves. So capturing this information is actually waste of uh, space or something like that so we'll not do that generally we, the, uh, that's what we call as loop in graph theoretical terms so we don't prefer loops generally 
Uh, that's what we call as a simple graph. So we are going to construct a simple graph where there is no loops. So we need to see that these two are different nodes. So I'm going to perform a check here. If S is not equal to T, only then I'll think if I have to add an edge or not. So if I just like that keep adding an edge, what happens? This loop will run for all possible pairs and what you get is a complete graph. I don't want a complete graph. I want a graph to be randomly generated. So for randomly generating, I have to again go ahead with this package, random. So let me import it, import random, random. So I have imported it. So I'm going to randomly add an edge. So how could I randomly add an edge? So I can simulate it with a coin toss. So I may say that I just pick two nodes, two different nodes. If they are different nodes, what I'll do? I, so I have picked a node S, I have picked a node T, source and target. So S and T, I have picked two nodes. If they are two different nodes, what I have to do? I'll toss a coin. If I get a head, I'll put an edge. Otherwise, I won't put an edge. So if you toss a, if you toss a coin, what is the probability? What is the chance that you get a head? One by two, right? Because head or tail, two possibilities. One of that possibility is head, which is your desired thing. So 1 by 2, which is 0 0.5 is the probability of your head. So I'm going to simulate that coin toss. If I get a head, I'll put an edge. Otherwise, I won't put an edge. So let me say, so I'm going to toss a coin. That is nothing but I'm going to generate a random number. That's what I'm going to simulate. So let me say R be my random number. I'm going to generate random dot random. What does this do? It will generate a random number in the range 0 and 1. So let me take 0 0.5. That is a probability for my head drive. So I will say if this random number r is within 0 0.5, I consider that I have got a head. Otherwise, I will say I have got a tail. This is how I am going to simulate the coin toss process. So if this r is within 0 0.5 less than or equal to 0 0.5 what do I do I consider it as a head so if there is a head I have to add an edge right so I will add an edge g dot add an edge from source to target so I have added an edge so I will do this for all possible pair of nodes and whatever is the resulting graph I am returning the resulting graph I will return the graph G after adding the edges based on coin tosses. So coin toss is a random process. If you toss a coin, you get a head or you get a tail. So based on that, if you draw an edge, you will get a random graph every time. So you can experiment what happens. Instead of having a fixed structure, you get a different structure every time and you experiment what happens, whether there is convergence with uh, any structure, you can experiment it. And there will be convergence. You need to run for sufficient iterations. Maybe 10 node graph. So I suppose maximum some 10,000 iterations. Definitely there will be convergence. So why do I say this concretely? Because there are some mathematical results which say that there will be convergence in any structure. So just an intuition that I could give you is just a hint is same. Probability is a hint. You can delve deep into it if you are interested. There are mathematical results, there are proofs which state that definitely there will be convergence if you keep repeating this procedure. So you can simulate it. Say for example, I had taken us uh, 100, 100, 100 each rate. Initially, all nodes were having 100 points. That is how I had taken. So I can, instead of giving 100 points, if there are some K people, I can give 1 by K each. The sum turns out to be 1. So this is one thing in probability, right? The individual probabilities may be anything, but the sum of all the probabilities will sum up to 1, right? So you can consider it like that. And you can uh, think of it as a probabilistic uh, model and you can prove that it's slightly rigorous, the mathematical part, but it's not um, very difficult, actually. You can understand it. Uh, all that you need to know is some amount of probability. Um, if you are good with probability, you, you can look up to uh, 
uh, what the mathematical proof is and you will get to know uh, that definitely whatever be the graph structure whatever be the initial configuration initially we are starting with equal even if you start with unequal configuration it will converge probably the number of iterations it takes to converge may differ but it will definitely converge so that is a mathematical result you can experimentally verify this with different random graphs you run it once you will get a graph you can verify whether there is convergence similarly you can run it again 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 you can run it and you will get different graph every time you can verify whether there is convergence as per that mathematical result there should be convergence let us see if it happens okay so we have added the edges so we have added the nodes we have added the edges now what should you do we should visualize the graph visualize the graph so to plot the graph and visualize it what do i need i need this package matplotlib so let me import it import import matplotlib dot pyplot pyplot as plt a shorter form so let me say matplotlib dot pyplot i have imported so what should i do i should first draw the network so let i'll say nx dot draw of the graph g and I need to have a labels. Labels are nothing but the entries of the node. That is, this is node one, this is node two, this is node five, so on. I need the labels, so I'll say with labels equal to true. I'll say this, so you will get the graph drawn with the labels. And now I have to show the drawn graph. So I'll say plt dot show. Okay, so done. So we have what we have done till now. We have created a directed graph. We have added a few nodes, added some edges. We have added edges randomly, simulating a coin toss, and we are going to visualize that graph. That's what we have done till now. Okay, let's go ahead, run this, and see what happens. Let me run it. See, some graph got generated. Some network is there. If I run some other one more time, I get another network. Another time. You get another network, some other network, some other network. So every time you are getting a random network. So on this you can run your points distribution method and you can check whether there is convergence. As I have said, there is a mathematical result which says there will be convergence irrespective of whatever is your initial distribution initially, however you distribute the points and as well as uh, how whatever is the structure of your graph. Irrespective of that, you will have uh, convergence. There is a mathematical result. Let us verify that in the upcoming parts of the video. That's why we are generating a random graph. So if you run this iteration, you will have a different output. Some other iteration, you may have a different output. So we are basically experimenting it for different structures. How is the behavior? We are basically experimenting. That's what we will be going to do. So we will do this in the upcoming parts of the lecture.